Coronation of a new monarch. Hello everybody, it's Tom here from Code. I hope you're well today. And today is an interest piece, mainly for those of you who don't live in England and in the UK. As uh, a lot of you probably aren't used to this, alright? So, it's new even for me and for my generation. Let's put it into perspective. So as you know, uh, in September of 2022, sadly we lost uh, the longest reigning monarch of uh, the British Isles, that being Queen Elizabeth II. Very sad, sad occasion. She was uh, incredibly dedicated to her duty and much loved around the world and in this country as well. But as is anything and as is the sort of order within a royal family, there is a line of succession and that line of succession is then realised. So... Uh, step forward a brand new monarch, that being King Charles III, uh, Elizabeth II's son. He has stepped forward to become king and uh, we have a day, we've had a weekend of national celebration here in the UK. So on Saturday, the 6th of May, there was a huge celebration all across the country. Down in London particularly, you had members of the armed forces doing the ceremonial part. You had street parties all across the UK. Union Jack flags flying everywhere. People coming from all over the world to see the coronation of a new monarch. An event that has not happened since 1952, 53. To put it into perspective, my father was only a boy back then. That's how long ago we are talking. And without trying to give my dad's age away, yes, he's approaching a very big birthday this year. Yeah, yeah, 70. For those of you who hadn't already figured it out. So that's a long time. We're talking generations of people that have not seen anything like this before. And then obviously after the coronation and the swearing in or the day of the brand new monarch, then came a lot of celebrations, a lot of uh, musical performances and entertainment, followed by many, many artists, just really to celebrate the special occasion. And uh, in my local area, if the weather was better, typically, typical of British weather, it's raining today and has been for most of the weekend, I'd be out showing you some of the things that are going on in my local area. We've got uh, lots of banners on the high street. We've got uh, some fun events happening in the park today for the children as it's a day off work. And yeah, lots of other things as well. Lots of street parties, as I said. A nation mainly united. Yes, there are still those that are absolutely anti-royal and are not buying into this at all. And that's fine. You know, we live in a democracy. You're entitled to your opinion, okay? But all I will say is this, as I've said many a times before, I am somebody that's a royalist. I like the royal family. It's a tradition that I believe is special and should be upheld for as long as possible. And you have to understand, as I've said before, these people were born into it. They did not choose to choose to be royal. They didn't get born and then one day decide they're going to be royalty. If it was as easy as that, then anyone could do it. You know, I cannot become a member of the royal family just because I want to I have to be born into that family and I'm not born into that family the line of succession is something that stems back thousands of years it's it is by birth right it's not by choice so when people question the royalty and say oh you know there's them and there's us they don't get a choice they don't get to choose and I'm telling you now as much as it is a glorious thing in some respects if you were to ask a member of the royal family if they wanted to if they would give it up to be normal I can guarantee that 90% of them would say yes absolutely 
No one wants to be in that level of pressure and in that spotlight. They have to behave a certain way. They have to do things from day one. They're very strict. There is a code of conduct that even the children of the royal family have to obey. And they are literally brought up with it. And that's how they behave in the public view and out of it as well. Protocol is absolutely paramount here. So, been a day of national, it's been a, couple, a weekend of national celebration. And I'm proud to say being part of it here. I would admit I could have been watching it. I didn't watch it live. I watched the highlights. And I will post those of the king being coronated in the chat box down below for you. Okay, in the comments. So you can all have a watch if you've not managed to catch it already. Without sounding too like I'm blowing out my country's trumpet too hard here. I don't think anybody does royalty the way that the us Brits do. It's a truly special occasion and one that absolutely should be celebrated and not frowned upon. Yes, there's always going to be the discussion about those who the have and the have not and those of us who are poor and people are struggling and yes, absolutely, 100% understand why you'd feel that way. But at the end of the day, as I said, they don't choose to be royal. So don't hate them because they are what they are. Except that they've got no choice in the matter. Okay? And what would you do if you was royal? Would you abdicate it? I think most people would experience it for at least a short amount of time. Myself included. I could swap for one day with a member of the royal family. I would, just to see what it's like. I'm sure by the end of it, I'd probably be sick of it. But it has its perks as well, of course. Guys, thank you all for listening. Long live the king. This is my third and final video of the week. I want to say thank you all ever so much for listening. I'll be back next week with another free. But until then, thank you very much for watching. Third and final, as I said, put down in the comment section below. Did you tune in to see this? Are you understanding what's going on here in our country? Do you want to discuss it more in the chat box below? Please do, if you wish. I'll try and explain it as best I can. But uh, absolutely. A lot of things are going to change now. Obviously, uh, the Queen's head figure on, on money will eventually disappear and it will be replaced with the King's. And then obviously, for people who are in like, the military, uh, the cipher will change. The shape of the crown changes because there's a cipher for a King and there's a cipher for a Queen. Obviously, now going to a King from a Queen, that will change. So a lot of things will change and be gradually phased in and out. That's how it works. Remember, remember to hit that subscribe button down below, leave me a thumbs up and a like, and let's hear that bell sign go ding dong so you know my next contact, content's out. I can't get my words out, yeah? <laughs> but I will be back in a couple of days with another few videos. But until then, I want to say thank you all ever so much for listening. Really appreciate your time and energy spent here on my channel. Take care of yourselves and bye for now.